my name is Deanna and I'm from thelivefitgirls.com. Today we're going to be doing a Pilates workout where we're focusing on your abs, your arms, and your legs. So what that means is it's a full body workout in just 10 minutes. So we have to work hard and we have to work fast. There's not a lot of breaks, but I promise you these 10 minutes will go by fast and it'll be a lot of fun. So if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and check out my blog, thelivefitgirls.com. You'll find a lot more workouts, healthy recipes, fitness and nutrition tips, and a lot more. So here we go, let's get this 10 minute workout underway and we're gonna kick butt. Let's go. So we're gonna start on our mat. You're gonna lay back and bring yourself into a neutral spine position. Legs are gonna come up to tabletop position, hands behind your head. Low reps to start just to warm up with just a few crunches. Squeeze those knees together, exhale, lift your head and your chest, inhale, lower back down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Keep those elbows wide. Imagine an orange between your chin and your chest. Good, last one here. We're gonna come up and over to the right. Exhale, lift, and inhale, lower. To the left, and lower. Exhale, lift, and lower. Left. And lower, keep squeezing those knees, keep your hips steady. One more to the left. And come up to the right and hold it here. You're gonna drop your right toe towards the floor, exhale, pull back up. Good, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Good, three, good. Keep twisting, find those oblique muscles, find those lower, lower abdominal muscles, hold it here. Lower down to the center, up and to the left. Squeezing those oblique muscles, drop the left toe down, and lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Again, finding those oblique muscles, finding those lower abdominal muscles. One more, inhale, lower, and exhale, lift. Lower to the center, come up to the center, squeeze those inner thighs, inhale, lower both toes, exhale, pull back up. Your toes may not touch the floor, that's okay, it just depends how strong those abdominal muscles are. Two more, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, keep those shoulders up. And lift, hold it here and hug those knees in towards your chest. Bring those feet down to the floor. We're gonna come into a few bridges. Arms are long by your sides, feet hip distance apart. Exhale, roll your spine up. And inhale, melt it back down. Exhale, roll it up. And inhale, lower. Good, exhale, lift, and inhale, lower back down. Exhale, lift, and inhale, lower. One more, hold it at the top. Press into that right foot, bring your left leg up, and lower, march to the right, and lower. Exhale, lift, and lower, lift, and lower. Exhale, lift, good, keep it up. One more on each side and hold that bridge. We're gonna go halfway down and pulse it up for 10, nine, keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Keep your feet apart. You're gonna knock your knees together. Kiss your knees and open. Squeeze and open. You have eight. Good, seven, six, five. Keep those lower abs engaged. Three, two, one. Hold it here. Inhale and then exhale. Melt your spine all the way back down. Good. We're going to come onto our right side. Extend your arm out nice and long or you can bend it. Just create a little pillow for your head. You're going to bring your spine towards the back of your mat. Your legs are towards the front. Point through those toes and find a little teeny space between your bottom oblique and the floor. So I call that your little mouse hold. Don't squish your mouse. So you're gonna lengthen through that top leg, reach it up and lower. Think of lengthening all the way across the room. You don't have to get your leg nice and high. You want to think more of length. So reach it long. Imagine I'm pulling on your ankle all the way across the room and lower. Good, four and three. Keep your hips nice and steady. Two and one. Hold it here, little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, hold it. Little teeny circles, the size of a tea saucer. Inhale to start those circles, exhale to finish. Good, breathe it in and out. We have five. 
and four. Keep your hips steady. You can bring your hand on your hips to make sure they stay steady. You have one more in this direction and reverse it. Good. Inhale to start. Exhale to finish. Keep lengthening through that leg. Reach it all the way across the room. Again, we have five, four, three. Keep breathing. Two, and one. Hold it here. Flex your foot. You're going to tap your toe in front, internally rotating that leg. Heel goes in back. So you internally rotate, externally rotate. You have three. Good. Exhale front. Inhale back. Last one. And relax. Hug that knee in towards your chest. Take a little stretch. We're going to come up and over to the other side. So laying onto your left side. Again, spine towards the back of your mat. Reach your arm out long or bend it. Just rest your head down. Reach through those toes. Find your little mouse hole. You're going to lift and lower. Lengthen out and lower. Remember, reaching as long as you possibly can. You don't need to get too high. It's more about lengthening. Imagine I'm pulling on your ankle all the way across the room. We have three. Don't squish your mouse. Two and one. Hold it here. Little pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one little circle is the size of a tea saucer. Inhale to start, exhale to finish. Breathe, relax your shoulders, keep your abdominals tight. Low belly is pulled in. Two, one, reverse direction. Circles in the opposite directions. Breathe in to inhale to start, exhale to finish. Good. And we have five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, flex through that foot, toe points in front. Heel and back. Exhale and inhale. Internally rotate and externally rotate. Two and one. And then hug that knee in towards the chest. Take a little stretch. Bring it over onto your stomach. We're going to work the low back and those upper back muscles. Arms are reaching out nice and long, just about as wide as your mat. Legs are hip distance apart. You're going to lift your upper back and your lower back at the same time and lower. Reach through those fingertips and lower. Exhale, lengthen. And inhale, lower. Lift. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Reach along through those toes. Reach along through those fingertips. And lower. Good. We have three. Good. Two. Last one. And hold. We're going to start paddling those arms. And switch. Good. Breathe in and out. In and out. One more deep breath. In. And out, lower it down and sit back into child's pose. Toes together, knees apart, reach those arms out long in front. We're going to come back around, lay back on your back. We're going to go into our five series. So if you've seen our five minute Pilates ab exercise or workout on the blog, you'll be familiar with these exercises. It's a series of five exercises really geared to hit those abdominal muscles. So legs come back up to tabletop, arms by your side. Exhale, lift your head and your chest, squeeze those knees in towards your chest, hug them in. Inhale, reach arms and legs out. Exhale, circle around. Inhale, reach. And exhale, circle. Inhale, reach. Exhale, circle. Biceps right by your ears. And circle. Inhale, reach. We're halfway there. 10 reps of each exercise. Good, we have four. Belly stays nice and flat. Three. Reach long through those arms and legs. Last one here. Hold it in. Extend your left leg out and switch. Exhale as the knee comes into the chest and switch. Switch. Two more on each side. Last one here. Hands go behind your head. Same movement with those legs and switch. We're twisting towards that knee and switch. We have three more on each side. Find those lower abdominal muscles, find those obliques, find those upper abs. One more on each side. And take a quick second to relax. You have an option here for the next one. Your arms can stay by your side and head down if you're newer to Pilates. Otherwise, your hands can come behind your head, lift your head up towards the ceiling, extend those legs up, and you'll inhale, lower those legs down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Keep your belly flat. Only go as low as you can while maintaining that neutral spine position. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good. Inhale, lower. And lift. We have four. Lengthen through those legs. 
three, exhale, lift, two, and last one, and hold it here, grab behind your right thigh or your calf or your ankle, depending on how flexible you are, and you're going to scissor those legs, exhale, leg in, inhale as you scissor, get a little stretch through those hamstrings, shoulders relax, one more on each side, and relax, hug those knees in towards your chest. Very nice work, we're gonna come up. We're gonna finish with those arms. So we're gonna come onto our stomach and come into a plank position here. So on your hands and your knees, hands are directly underneath your shoulders. You're gonna step your feet out, find a nice, beautiful plank position. Take five deep breaths in here, so breathe it in. And exhale, breathe in and exhale. Elbows are slightly bent. If you need to modify, come down onto your knees. Otherwise, stay up on your toes. Breathe it in and out. In and out. Good. Take a second to rest. We're coming into our push ups. Our push ups are military style push ups. Elbows stay narrow and then lift it up. You can do these on your knees. Just make sure you're in a plank position. 10 push ups and we're done. Here we go. Lift it into your plank. Drop to your knees if you need to. Elbows stay narrow. Lower and press. Good. Lower and press. Good. Press. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Elbows narrow. Abs are tight. Good. We have five and four. Three, two, and last one. And lower. Sit back into child's pose. Take a quick rest. So from here, reach that right arm underneath your chest and stretch out those shoulders. And switch, left arm comes underneath your chest, relax your shoulders down to the floor and take a stretch for the backs of those shoulders. And then bring it back to front, take another second in your child's pose here. Roll your spine all the way back up. And I hope you enjoyed your 10 minute Pilates workout. Remember, if you liked this workout, subscribe to the channel so that you get up-to-date videos sent straight to you, and also make sure to check out thelivefitgirls.com. I will see you next week for my next workout, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks. Bye.